Well, I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. Um, today we are returning to The Gap, but not for Black Friday deals. We are going to the genuinely approachable pencil puzzles type of Gap. So I've got my pencils with me, uh, mechanical pencils today for my online solving. Um, and uh, I also want to point you to um, my website where I announced that I am going to be doing an advent calendar of puzzles again this year, which means a new puzzle every day throughout uh, from December 1st through December 25th up to Christmas. Um, and this year I am doing that through Patreon. So the details are on, um, the, I'll leave a link down below where you can go check it out on my website. But um, basically you uh, subscribe through Patreon for the month of December and you'll get all of the advent calendar puzzles. And then, um, you know, if you choose to stick around after that on Patreon, great. I appreciate that very much. If not, no worries. I understand some people are going to stick around just for the advent calendar and then um, not remain uh, Patreon subscribers, and that's fine too. Um, and I will be posting some special puzzles just for Patreon people after December as well. Um, but... Yeah, so go subscribe to my advent calendar. It's a lot of fun. Uh, every puzzle is Christmas themed. I'm probably putting some on the screen right now so you can see some of them. Um, and I'm also selling uh, a PDF with all of the puzzles from last year's advent calendar. So if you weren't subscribed last year, um, you can go check that out. You can download the whole thing and it's got a puzzle for every day. And there's um, regular versions and junior or family versions. Um, all the Sudokus in those are 6x6 six six Sudokus, and the pencil puzzles are all probably gap puzzles, um, and or nearly gap, if not. And so I think it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you uh, come solve some puzzles with me for those. But today, we are not doing Christmas-themed puzzles. We are doing gap puzzles. All right, so our first puzzle today is Easy as ABC. This one's by Freddie Hand, and this is a, another genre that I've never done before, and that's always fun. I get to learn something new. Uh, so the rules are place letters from the range given outside the grid, which in this one it's A through C, into some cells so that each row and column contains each letter once. So a Latin square, but with letters instead of numbers like we often would do. A clue outside the grid represents the first letter seen in the corresponding row or column from that direction. Okay, so it has to be the first one... It can see. Okay, got it. I think I understand. Um, link in the description as usual. I'm going to give it a try now and we'll see how this goes. So, how do we start this? Okay, so. Ah, well, one thing. Hmm, one thing I can see is uh, the. Um, the letter that's listed on the outside, so we've got a 5x5 five five with three letters. So we're going to have three letters and two blanks in each row and column. Um, and let's see. Yep, if you right-click, you can put in an X. So, yep, and clicking goes through. Oh, and there's a circle. Okay, I guess the circle would be like, there's a letter here, but I don't know what it is. All right, so this A over here means the A has to be in one of the first three. Because if A, because essentially the B and the C have to be outside of it, not seen, right? They have to, the A has to come before the B and the C. So you need at least two spots for the B and the C on the other side of the A. Other side, that direction for you guys. <laughs> it's the other way for me. But, which means you can't put an A right here. So there has to be an A in one of those two. And I don't know if I want to write in those for everything. Ah, this one can't be an A. And this one can't be an A because it would be the first letter that B sees. So we get our first letter in the grid here, which means that's not an A. Um, and this being an A means B and C have to be over here. And this can't be C because the B would see it first. So we get that. These are X's. So now one of these is a B. If that was a B, it would force that to be a C. Um... A, A, so this, oh, one of those is, an, ah, and now, right, now that we've got an X down here, we can't put an A here because you don't have space for a B and a C down below, so that one can't be A, so this is an A, that's not an A, uh, that means the B and the C are down here, and this can't be the B, it's kind of, it's really the same logic that we use down here, which is nice, um, so this can't be the B anymore, that's the B, uh, the A can't be here, 
can't be there. This has to be the A. So now this is the A in the row. Uh, this, the B can't be in these because they're the same row. This is the B, which forces the C to be there. A, B, C, A, B, C. This is B. We need an A and a C that have to go that way. And this one needs a B and a C. Complete. There we go. All right. That was Easy as A, B, C by Freddie Hand. And it was Easy as A, B, C. I like that. That's kind of interesting. It's, um, yeah, that's an interesting rule where it's the first one it sees. It's kind of, it's kind of like a, a mini version of skyscrapers, sort of, where... It, you know, it matters what it can see when it's looking. It, the heights aren't important, so it's not quite like skyscrapers, but it kind of reminds me of that. So, interesting. All right, next puzzle. All right, our next puzzle is a Voxus by Eric Fox. Um, and again, another one I've never heard of, so should be interesting. I'm excited to try something new here. Uh, divide the grid into one by two and one by three regions. Okay. Borders must separate two different regions. Okay, that makes sense. Borders with white dots separate regions with the same size and orientation. Okay. Um, borders with black dots separate regions with neither the same size nor the same orientation. Okay, so it's either white dots are both, black dots are neither, and gray dots either the same size or the same orientation, but not both. Okay, cool. I think I understand that makes sense. All right, let's uh, reset our timer and see how this one goes. Okay, so they're one by two and one by three regions. So I mean, these these areas right here, it's gonna have to come out. This piece here has to extend down at least one. Same here. So we can kind of get some lines for free. Now, let's see, this one jumps out at me, this black one, because we already know this piece down here is gonna be a vertical orientation. So this one has to be horizontal because they can't be the same size or, so one of these is three and one of them is two. Now this one is horizontal, which means we get a line there. And so now this one is sort of forced to stick out this way. And now the one below is forced to stick out that way. And, and they're at least too big, right? So this piece and this piece have to be, well, they're different orientations, so they have to be the same size. But I'm not sure. Oh, and these two, this piece has to, this white dot means the one down below has to be the same orientation and size. So it actually has to be this direction. These are also, the different orientations. Oh, this is interesting. So we get all these gray dots here. So like these two are opposite orientations. These two are opposite. These two are opposite. So those all have to be um, different sizes, which then means that this one and this one are the same size and these two are the same size. Okay, let's look down here. So these, uh, okay, so, hmm, not sure. Not sure what to do down there. Okay, let's look over at this one. So this one's vertical. This one, I guess the grays don't tell us very much until you know more. All right, this one is horizontal, which means the one below it has to also be horizontal because of the white. Now, these two have to be, you know, they're gray, so they're the same orientation, so they're going to have to be different sizes, and they have to be at least two. This one with the black means the black is a vertical one, ah, which means this white one is vertical. Okay, there we go. So that gets us our first regions, because these have to be the same. Now the black, this has to be, it's the different orientation, also has to be a different size. These two are the same orientation, they have to be different size. These two have to be the same, everything. These have to be that way, okay. Now, uh, what are we doing here, I guess? So, there's six cells in here. We have to do one by two and one by three regions. So we could do three and three, except one would be bent. So it has to be two and two and two. Now this here tells us this one has to be three because they have to be different sizes. These two have to be different sizes, so we get a two. These have to be different sizes, so we get a three. These have to be different sizes. And these two have to be the same. Now this down here has to be a one by two. That's the only thing this cell can be a part of. So this one is now a horizontal piece. Um, and and if it if it ended right here, then this one would be there and you'd have a one by 
one piece there. So this one has to go all the way over. Now these two have to be different size. So they go there. These, um, let's see, this one could still be vertical if it was two or horizontal if it's three. Uh, but this one's horizontal. And so the one with the white tells us this one's horizontal. So it's three, which is different size than that. Perfect, which means this one is also three. They have to be the same. These two have to be different orientations. So we get a vertical one, also different size. So it's two. This one has to be the same because of the white dot. Now this could be two or three over here. So we're going to have to see what happens at the top here. Um, but this piece, this one cell right here, has to stick out to the right. So that gives us that down there. Um, this is vertical. Ah, the white, the one with the white here is a vertical one. So the bottom one has to be the same. Now that means since this one's vertical, this one is also vertical. So they have to be different sizes. And this one down here is also going to be a vertical one now. So, oh, but that's, that has to be three because otherwise we'd have a single cell there because this one forces it. So three, so that makes that two. Which makes this one three, it leaves three down there, perfect. Three, three, the three up there. Um, this is three connecting to this one, which could, oh, okay, so the, the piece above the black here can't go sideways or you'd have a one cell region there. So it has to go that way. So that means this one has to be horizontal and three, like that. And then I think we just need to do that. Is that, oh, did I mess something up? What did I do wrong? Oh no. I did mess something up. All right, so I definitely broke this puzzle, and I know where I did where I, where I went wrong. Um, you guys probably already knew, but uh, the, over here, this gray, I had. So they're different orientation, which means they need to be the same size, not different size. So I'm gonna back up to there. Continue is going to be my worst time yet, but that's okay. That's the way. Hey, that's life solved. That's the way it goes, right? So, um, okay. So I think I was good up until here, right here. I said, these two have to be different. And actually, since they're different orientation, they have to be the same size. And these are the same size. And these are the same size, which makes this one because of the white. Um, and now this has to be a one by two down here. This has to be horizontal. Um, and so these two, these two are different because they're the same orientation. These two are the same orientation, different size. Perfect. These are the same. Um, these have to be different size. Those have to be the same. Okay. So yeah, that was my mistake over here. Um, uh, this one's vertical from the above the white. So the bottom one has to be the same. These are... Let's see where do I go now um, if this is horizontal then that one's vertical yeah that could work um, this one this black one is uh, there's a couple options okay so now now I'm questioning all of my logic after that mistake these two have to be different sizes I know that and these two two also have to be different sizes. So these two have to be the same size. Could be three and three. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. If this one is two, then this comes out and it forces a one by one. So this comes down. Okay. Three, three, three. No, sorry. I'm doing it again. These two are the same orientation. So they have to be different sizes. Those two have to be the same. These two are the same orientation, so they have to be different sizes. That's the one that's different. These two are the same. Okay. This one um, is uh, either three to the left or two vertically. It's two vertically. Oh, right. So this, piece, this cell here has to extend down. Okay, which does that. There we go. And now we get the prompt. Okay, well, um, there you go. That's my worst my worst gap puzzle yet. Um, if you make a, a fatal mistake like that, that'll, that'll really mess you up. But that's okay. That's what happens. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next puzzle.
All right, our next puzzle is a compass puzzle by Shy, um, and this is a genre that I am familiar with. I've actually made a couple of compass puzzles before. Uh, maybe I'll link to one uh, down below. I made one for uh, a, a, pu a puzzle prompt that was supposed to be about like games and stuff, and I made one based on playing cards, so that's kind of fun. Uh, it's probably not quite gap level, but I don't think it was too difficult. Um, it's been a while, I don't remember. It was like a year and a half ago I made that, but... Anyways, this is a, a compass puzzle. The rules of compass are divide the grid into regions of orthogonally connected cells, each containing exactly one compass. So each of these little X's is a, a compass or a clue. Um, and so we could divide, you know, something like this could be one containing that one. But we couldn't come down here and include both of these in the same region. Um, a number in a compass indicates how many cells belong to its region that are further in the indicated direction than the compass itself. Now, this part is a little weird at first, but once you understand what it means, it's not too bad. So, um, this 816 right here, for example, the 1 does not necessarily mean you need to include the cell directly above. It means you need to have one cell somewhere north of that clue. So, you could presumably come over here and do something like that. And that would count as it's one cell in that direction. Um, similarly, this eight to the left doesn't necessarily mean you need to have a bunch of eight cells right here. I mean, this thing could come all the way down here and get a bunch of, you know, these down here would, now this is only six, but there, you'd have eight cells here to the west of that clue, if that makes sense, hopefully. So, there you go. That's the rules. Um, I'm going to give it a try and we'll see how this goes. Let's reset our timer. All right. So here we go. Let's see. Um, so we can kind of come in here and we get some gimmies with the zeros. You can fill in lines between the clues. Um, and now this one, since it has walls on three sides, we know where it goes and it can't go to the left or right at all. So it has to come straight down there. So that region is done. And now Another, one thing to look at on compass puzzles sometimes is what can get to the corners, right? Especially with these clues in the middle. And now with this being restricted down here, what could possibly get to this corner? This one could, the 430. Could the 5? 1, 2, 3, 4. No. This one can't. This can't. No. No. Just because of the limitations to the left. This one could. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No. It, it could have, I think. Mm, yeah. It, uh, it could have. Originally, if it came down here and then went straight across, but now it has to go up and over and it would have way too many. So the only one that can get to that bottom left is this one. Oh, oops, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, it does have to come to the left and down. Oh, so that's going to be, yeah, so it's not going to be able to do any more um, on the left side, which means the three are going to have to come from up there. And now this five. Uh, what can get up in here now? This one can't. This one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it can't get all the way down to here. Yeah, this is this one has to come up and over down to here. So it's got to come to the right. We know they can't have any below it. Yeah, it's going to have to get all five of these as it's five to the left. But we have to not trap this thing. It needs two to the two up and two to the right, which could be something like that. But we know this one has to come out the top here. Yeah, I think the only way you can get two above and two to the right is something like that. Unless you went... I mean, you could do you could do this right normally, but that's gonna mess up us getting around the top there. So I think now it has to be this way, which means this one has to keep coming over here. This this clue um, can only have two to the right, and it needs to pick up four to the left, and it can't come out around the top because it'll use too many to the right. So it's gonna have to come to the left, which means that pushes this one up in this way. And they sort of force each other. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and that's going to be all six of its cells to the right here, going across there. Um, this one, there's no way to get three to the left 
you know, by coming out and around from the right side. So it's got to come, same with this one. Yep, they've got to come to the left. This one can't go down at all. So they kind of push each other over just like this. Uh, and then this one's got to go one to the right. And this one's got to go one to the right. So it goes like that. Now, oh, now interesting. So down here, this whole region has to come from, I think, I think even in my explanation, I use that as an example, uh, has to get these down here. So, uh, and this one's got to come up and out this way. And this has to get one up, but the point is this one has to come down and around here. And so it cuts off this one from getting its two. So it has to have those two up there. That's got to be the one. There we go. Complete. That was compass. That was a fun puzzle. It was neat. It kind of taught us some, um, I like that it kind of taught you some of the rules too, you know, like it, it taught us to look at the corners and, you know, some of these that are forced because they can't get out and around that taught some of the techniques um, for compass. Very nice. I enjoyed that one. On to the next. All right. The next puzzle is moon or sun. This one's by Jovial. Um, this is one I've seen people post these before and I've never solved one. So I've been wanting to learn this one. And so this is another opportunity. Let's see, draw a non-intersecting loop through the centers of some cells. Okay. So we don't have to go through all the cells. <clears throat> We're drawing a loop. That sounds familiar. Like a lot of other puzzles, which passes through each region exactly once. Okay. We have to go through each region within a region. The loop must pass through all moons and no suns or all suns and no moons. Okay, so we have to do suns or moons, but not, but which is why it's called moon or sun. All right. Uh, the loop may not pass through the same type of clue in two consecutively used regions. Ah, okay. So got it. So it, all right. I, I think I understand. I don't want to start solving before I'm solving. Okay. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to give this one a try now. Um, let's see. Let's reset our timer. And here we go. So, <clears throat> One thing I noticed right away is this one has only moons. So we have to go through these two. Now, is it, um, yeah, we only pass through each region once. So we can't come through here and here or something like that. So we have to go between the two moons. Now, because they're moons, the next region that we go into, we have to be, actually the regions on both sides, um, yeah, because we have to essentially alternate. You can't go through two consecutively used regions of the same type. So the the one on either side of the moon is going to have to be all suns. And there's no way to get to this sun. Oh, okay. Interesting. If I click on it, it X's it out. Okay, I can't get to this sun without going through a moon. So we can't do that. And we can't do moon and moon. So this one can't go to there. So it has to be... Um, so this one is moon for sure, which means you got to do something like this, I think, and it can't go to the moon. So it's got to go this way. Oop. And now this one, since it goes moon, this one has to be sun. So we have to avoid the moons and go here. Now that one was sun. So this one has to be moon again. So we can't hit the sun there. Now this could go up and over or up and down here. Um, but this one can't. Right, this is moons. Here, let's do that. This one's moons, so we can't connect to there. So this this moon region can't go down. It also can't go to the right because it would hit another moon. So it has to come this way, which means it's got to be sun. Uh, and the only way to do that is here. Now, it could go up to this moon. Actually, so this this moon has to connect to two suns, right? If this one comes up here, this is now a moon, but it has to be sun to connect to this one. So, in fact, it can't go up there. I think it has to connect to the moons here. And now, this one is moon. It can't go up there. It can't go here. So, it's got to come over here to the sun. So, it's got to do this to the sun, to the sun. Now, I want to connect it right there, but I don't think I can say for sure it has to do that yet, because I think it could go here and here. Um, moons. So this is not a moon. This is a sun one. Sun. 
uh, so it's the suns, so it's got to come over here to the sun. Oh, and so we can't connect to this one now. So this has to be the suns here, and then it's got to go over here. So this does have to connect here. This has to go to the moon and over here to the sun. There we go, complete. All right, cool. That was interesting. Um, the, the alternating regions is kind of a cool idea. Um, yeah, interesting. All right, cool. On to the next puzzle. All right, our next puzzle today is a Nurakabi. Um, this is by Turganis, and uh, another puzzle type I've never done before. So um, we're doing all kinds of those today. So the rules are shade some cells so that all shaded cells form one orthogonally connected area. Clues cannot be shaded, and every orthogonally connected area of unshaded cells contains exactly one clue, the value of which represents the size of the area. And no 2x2 two two region may be entirely shaded. So... We're, it's kind of like cave in that we're shading stuff and it all has to be, you know, connected. Um, the clues are unshaded. Oh, and then it's kind of like um, snake egg too, in that the so the unshaded areas include the clues and they have to be the size of the clue. Okay, and the no two by two, so we can't do something like this. These can't all be shaded. Okay. Um, I think I understand the rules, and uh, I'm going to give this one a try, reset the timer. All right, so, I mean, I think we can surround the ones just starting out here, because they have to be size 1. Um, and then, ah, actually, no, we can't do the, uh, yeah, we can do that one. But we can't do these corners, those aren't necessarily, this still makes this a, a unshaded area of size 1 here, even if those aren't necessarily shaded. But we need to separate all of these because each unshaded area contains exactly one clue. These need to be separated. And then these kind of push each other that way um, out because if you, you know, if the four region turns, it's going to connect to the three region. So these all kind of, now we get two, uh, that makes that the three. The four, now the four gets one, two, three, it could turn up or could continue over, but we can do the same things up here. They all just keep pushing each other down through the grid. One, two, three, so that's four. We get to do that. One, two, three, four, five. We get that. And now we've got to avoid a two by two issue there. That gives us the four there. And now another two by two avoidance here. Um,. Ah, this, all the, the, the shaded cells all have to be connected. This section of three shaded cells here needs to connect somehow, and so it's got to go there to connect. Which then means, one, two, so this one has to be part of the four. It's either that one, oh, and this one, it, we have to avoid the two by two, so it's got to go like that. That gives us the four, and now, down here, so we've got two cells already right here so we can't do both of these as shaded because you'd end up with a two by two so at least one of these two needs to be unshaded so the four has to connect to one of those so i don't think this one yeah this one can't be part of the four so it has to be shaded and now we've got to avoid a two by two so this one has to be part of the four one of these has to be so it's got to be that one i think we go straight across like that did i do something wrong it's not, it didn't tell me that I completed it. Oh, complete, okay. Normally it pops up and says, hey, good job. Um, but I had to hit check for some reason. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> that, was, that was the Nirakabi by uh, Turganis. That was fun. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of got a lot of things from other genres, just like a lot of these, there's a lot of overlap and mixture and stuff, so very cool. All right, moving on. All right, our final puzzle is The Meandering Numbers by Freddie Hand. Um, this is another one that I've never even heard of before, so it should be interesting. Um, the rules are place a number into each cell so that each region contains an orthogonally connected chain of consecutive numbers from one to n, where n is the number of cells in the region. Okay, so um, this is kind of like 
was it the Rossi Salai, I think, the last time, um, where you're doing uh, sort of a chain. So it has to be, you know, uh, like zigzag through or down and around. Um, but this time it's a chain of numbers instead of just a line. Um, and then numbers of the same value may not touch one another, not even diagonally. Okay, so that's kind of like Star Battle. So it's sort of like Rossi Sly with Star Battle, but with numbers in order instead of just... Anyways, it's, it's sort of kind of related to those. So maybe, hopefully, some of the logic will be similar. and Maybe I can figure this out then. All right, so I'm going to give this one a try. We'll reset the timer. <clears throat> Let's see. So... Oh, well, this obviously has to be a 1. So none of these none of these can be ones here. These have to be a one and a two, which means you can't have a one or a two in any of these. So these so it's have to be so these have to be three, four, five or six. So the one and the two have to be over here. And so I think the middle one has to, yeah, the middle one has to be, the one and the two obviously have to be connected because it's a chain. So the one, the middle one has to be a one or a two because you can't put the one and the two on the outside edges. So that has to be a one or a two. Um, I'm wondering what the best, so this can't be the, ah, this can't be the one. And, and this has to be the end of the chain, because once you come into here, you can't get back out. So this has to be this has to be the 7. That makes this the 6. It's either going to be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is 1 or 5. This is 1 or 5. Um, similarly, this one has to be uh, the end of the chain. So it's either a one or an eight, but the other one, uh, no, because it could go up like this. So this could still be the one. I was gonna say the other one has to be down here, but it doesn't have to be. That's a one or an eight. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. This is a one. Um, this has to be the end of the chain. So this is a one or a six. One or a six. And the other end has to be one of these two. This has to be the end of a chain. So this is a one or a six. Oh, we have another. Look, I didn't even see that. We have a, sing a single one there. So this is a six. Uh, this is a six. This is now a three, two, one. I should have started over here. I saw that one and just got stuck over here. Um, so this can't be a one and this has to be the end of a chain. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is definitely where I should have started over here. That's all right. Uh, this can't be the one. So this is three, two, one. And now the one in this region can't be here because that can't be in either of these. So it has to be at the top here. And, and the six can't be at the, oh, the six can't be at the top because it would be connected to the six there. So the six has to be at the bottom, the one has to be at the top. The two can't be at the bottom. So the one and the two and the three all have to be at the top and the three can't be down here at this end. So this has to be one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Uh, the one can't be here. And I don't think there's any way, no. So the one has to be here two three four five like that this now can't be the one it has to be the six uh this can't be the one so three two one now this can't be one it's got to be the eight seven six now the one can't be in either of these so it's got to be one of these two ah uh, this can't be a five so this is five four three two one so these can't be five. So this has to be the five, four, and we can't do three, two, one, because we'll be next to the one. So it's got to be three, two, one, like that. Now, these have one of these two has to be a one, and it can't be right there. So this has to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This has to be two and one. And now the one and the two are over here. All right, so. 
the six can't be over here. The one, the one and the two are on this side. The three can't be at the top. So if you start here and come down, you're going to end up with the six over there. If you start here and go up, you're going to end up with the three there. So this can't be the one. This is the one. You can't have the two over here. So the two would have to come up. The three would be there. So this can't be the one. This is the one. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Complete. All right. That was kind of cool. That was definitely, we used the, the same logic that we did on the Rossi Sly and the Star Battle. So interesting. All right. Well, that is the last puzzle for today's trip to the gap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, and uh, let me know what you thought down below, how your times were on these, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Thanks. Bye.